Hey guys, we're going to do a quick video to help you that didn't turn in your flip grid. So remember, the flip grid that you need to enter is flipgrid.com slash job probs. That's going to be your enter code, job probs. You'll log in with your Microsoft account. That's your school email. So that's your computer login at student.visd.net. And then your sign in will be your computer password. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in real quick because I am a teacher, keeps me signed in. And job props. Now you've got two. Most of you guys already did the first prompt, which was comparing Morrison, who worked for the rich family and went home to her real family, and Atkinson, who didn't have that good of a home life and he went to Pizza Hut to escape it all. Now, the second one that we're talking about is graph chats. This is the tricky one because I was out with the sub. I don't have a lot of responses on this. This is why we're making the video. Now, in order to access these charts, these graphs that we're addressing, you need to go to the PowerPoint, which I'll pull it up right here. It is bit.ly slash unit three preap. That's where you'll find the PowerPoint. I did send it on Remind, so you'll have that link. And once you get there, you're going to go to slide number 60. My screen's going to refresh. Slide 60 is going to pull up. And that's what it's asking. We looked at graphs in class, interpreted them as valuable information for argument. Remember in our discussion of Pathos Ethos Logos, the graphs are going to be mostly logos. So I'll pull up the old PowerPoint here in a second. And on slide... Slide 61 begins the lesson that we're talking about. So the article, let me go down to 61 here. The article in question has to do with the four graphs that talk about how teens and their summer jobs are otherwise occupied. So they've been doing different stuff apart from summer jobs. We'll start at 61. And the title of this also has instructions on the slide if you need to zoom in at all. Directions. The following title, subtitle, and four graphs were taken in the same article. Based on these clues, remember we're looking at clues and drawing conclusions, try to predict the possible claims you might expect to find in the written text of the article. Now the title is Teenagers Have Stopped Getting Summer Jobs. Why? So you'll make some notes over some trends that you see. You've got your y-axis, you've got your x-axis, the data sets for each. And I've got a frame here for you on page 62 that you can use. Based on this graph, I can see there's been a trend among blank to work blank during blank. And you'll also look at graph number two. We've got teen labor participation rate in yellow, sharp drop after the 90s. Then we've got percentage of recent high school graduates enrolled in college classes and an increase, a steady increase, all the way from the 60s. The next slide is a bar chart over graph three. Share of teenagers taking summer classes. We see that the teenagers taking summer classes goes up. And then our final bar chart is share of non-working teens who say they wish they were working. That number keeps going down. Make note that the years are different. They're not all the same years, and the percentages are also different. Slide 66 has all four charts in one. And then this is your flip grid prompt. Based on the graphic representation of data you analyzed in your small groups, what story could you tell? Based on the graph blank, we assumed whatever. However, graph blank supports the assertion. That's what I want to hear from you in your flip grids. And here on this slide, slide 68, write a prediction of what you think we will be reading tomorrow using the graphs as evidence to support your position statement. I need it by, now it was last week on Friday, but I'll go ahead and extend the deadline because I was out to this week on Friday, flipgrid.com slash job probs. So what you'll do is you will hit the plus button. You'll record. If you're uncomfortable recording yourself, you don't want everyone to see your response. We've had a lot of good responses. Then go ahead and just type it up and email it to me or respond on Remind. I'll take either one. I just need to have your analysis. Remember, everything that we do in this class builds up to a final assignment, and that will be your PF3, which is due February 28th. Thanks for tuning in, guys.